Hello friends, I am Hemanta Soikya and today I am going to talk about how to draw violin plot using R software. The violin plot is a method of plotting numeric data and can be considered as a combination of box plot with a kernel density plot. Now let us look at this graph or plot. This plot is actually known as violin plot as it looks like a violin. So it is known as violin plot. A violin plot usually depicts the distribution of numeric data for one or more groups using density curves. So these are actually known as density curves in the side line. The width of the curve corresponding with the approximate frequency of data points in each region. Densities are frequently accompanied by an overlay chart type such as box plot as it is displayed here to provide additional information of your data. And these kind of plots are used when you want to observe the distribution of numeric data and are especially useful when you want to make a comparison of distributions between multiple groups. Now without any delay, let us go to the R software to see how to draw violin plot using R. Now here I am using R studio to draw the violin plot. So basically we need two different packages. One is called ZZplot2, another one is called HMISC. So these two plots are very essential to draw the violin plot in R. So using library function, library ZZplot2 and then library HMIC, let us call these two uh, packages to draw the violin plot first. Okay, so I call these two packages and then here I am using the IDS dataset which is already available in R software to draw the violin plot. So let us see the data, IDS data. So command is here, data, IDS within the bracket, then click on run to call the data set from the R repository. Now if you want to see the head of the IDS data set, so you have to write it down the code like head within the bracket iris and then click on run to see what are the variables variable names are available under this data set. So here we have sepal length, sepal width, petal length and petal width and then finally species. Now if you want to see the structure of the data then str within the bracket iris select this and then click on run to see the structure of the data set. So out of these five variables first four variables are numeric variables and the species last one which one is the fifth variable it is a factor variable or you can say categorical variable where we have three categories or three levels now to draw the violin plot using ZZplot2 so command is ZZplot within the bracket data equal to iris then AES within the bracket X equal to species that means X axis representing the species and Y axis representing the sepal width. So here we are considering sepal width this particular variable for different species to draw the violin plot. So one can take any, any variable any uh, out of these four numeric variable any variable one can choose to draw the violin plot. So here I have used the sepal width variable to draw the violin plot for different species. Now x axis representing the species, y axis representing the sepal width, then plus zeom underscore violin is the command to draw the violin plot, basic violin plot for the iris data set. So let us select this one and then click on run to see the violin plot. Look at this. This is the violin plot. So this is the violin plot, first violin plot for data sepal width for the species Satosa, next one for the species Varsicolor and the third one for the species Varginica. This is the basic violin plot using R. Now if you want to rotate the axis then what you have to do, same command up to here ZZ plot data equal to iris then x axis representing the species, y axis sepal, sepal width, geom violin. Then if you write it down plus co, quad underscore flip, that means coordinate, coordinate flip, 
if you want to change the code in it then you have to write plus code underscore flip then click on run so you will get this uh, flip coordinated violin plot now say in the violin plot middle of the violin plot I want to determine the mean or median any descriptive statistics under this violin plot so in that case the command is the first part is looking same okay zg plot data iris x axis representing species y skill sep y axis sepal width geom violin then after that you have to write it down plus state underscore summary state underscore summary and then function equal to median so here i want to see the median point under this violin plot and then geom equal to point size equal to two color equal to red if i select this line and then click on run then i will see the violin plot and then this red point actually representing the median of the sepal width for different species so setosa sepal width median is this for versicolor sepal width median is this and for virginica sepal width median is this now if you want to see the mean instead of median then what you have to do instead of median you just write it down here mean function equal to mean then select this line and then click on run then you will see the mean values instead of median values okay now next say along with this uh, mean values I want to know the range the maximum value or minimum value or say point range I want to see the point range mean plus minus SD value I want to display the mean plus minus SD standard deviation uh, along with this mean value within this violin plot then what you have to do here the command is gg plot data iris then x axis representing species y axis representing the sepal width geom is violin state summary then here is the difference here instead of function you have to write fun dot data that means function for dot data equal to mean underscore sdl so mean underscore sdl will give you the mean plus minus sd and then geom equal to point range we want to see the point range then multi equal to one and color equal to red if i select this one and then click on run then i will see you can see that i will see the mean plus minus sd along with the mean value within this violin plot for different species now say i want to draw the box plot within the violin plot okay like here like we have seen here in this particular graph that within the violin plot uh, we have here box plot so if you want to display the box plot within the violin plot then what you have to do here is the command the first part will remain same for up to geom violin and then next plus geom box plot width equal to 0.1 fill equal to blue if you want to uh, uh, see in a different color say I here I want the blue color box plot so I am writing here fill equal to blue and I select this line and then click on run to see the box plot within the violin plot now like the box plot if you want to see the color or feel for the violin plot then you see zg plot data equal to iris x axis representing the species y axis representing the sepal width then comma you write feel equal to red then everything will remain same okay if i select this line and then click on run then i will see the fill color red color within the violin plot and also the box plot blue color box plot remains same fill equal to blue and for violin i choose the color red so violin fill color is red and the box plot fill color is blue so in this way lot of modifications you can 
uh, do by using the commands uh, in our software but uh, several things you can do even uh, instead of box plot within the violin plot you can also draw the zittered plot so this is also possible so in this way you can draw the violin plot using our software thank you thank you so much